I'm somebody whose head is screwed on straight. I read government documents saying they're going to take my guns, try to take my children, turn bureaucracies loose on me for the smallest environmental infraction, huge fines, years in prison. Now it's going to happen with the garage sales under environmental laws, two years in prison, $100,000 fine, first infraction, $15 million second infraction. That upsets me. I know what tyranny is. I know the value of liberty. And I just want to get people upset and focused on real issues here. How can you be normal and know this and not get upset? But I read the sociology papers written in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and then there have been newer ones written, where they brag how up until the 50s in England and the United States and Canada, parks were always full of families. People played in their front yards. They knew their neighbors. They went down and talked about politics at the barber shop. But as soon as television came in, within a week of communities getting TV, no one was outside anymore. It was rare. They killed our humanity. So I use the television to try to reach in as a life preserver through their system and to warn people. That's why we've got Fall of the Republic coming out. That's why I made the Obama deception. That's why I've made all these films. That's why I do six days of radio. That's why I'm going to be here till midnight all week long working because I morally can't sit on my butt and not do something about this. I have to get angry and get focused and do everything I can to beat these people. That's why I also consulted on and I'm one of the main people in Camp FEMA, out of the ballpark, important film, available discounted out of the gates at Infowars.com. Just came out Friday. We're already shipping it out to everybody. We started shipping a few days early. Camp FEMA, American lockdown. You want to see the FEMA camps, the concentration camps, the proof, the government documents, the video, the interviews, the facts. All the rumors end. The documentation begins in Camp FEMA, available at Infowars.com or by calling toll-free 888 888- Two five three three one three nine eight 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 two five three three one three nine. Another film I made, Reflections and Warnings with Aaron Russo. You can get it free at Infowars.com when you get it with the Obama deception, with the late great Aaron Russo covering the eugenics, what the Rockefellers told him about how they plan to exterminate people. It's in here. Top Hollywood producer, Aaron Russo, blows the whistle. Reflections and warnings. He called me down to Houston. He said, I'm probably not going to make it. Don't tell anybody that. I'm doing cancer treatment. I've been fighting cancer for four years. Come interview me because I may. And he could barely get up in a chair when I interviewed him for this. Available at Infowars.com. New World Order aired on IFC. This is the expanded director's cut with a bunch of extras. There I am on the cover of the film and on the back. Important film, if you want it, available at Infowars.com, discounted, or 888-253-3139, or write to me, Alex Jones, at Infowars at P.O. Box 19549, Austin, Texas, 78760. Now, I'm going to go to the final segment here in a little while after I cover the flu news, and I'm going to take these eugenics calls that are here on the board. Jesse and many others that are patiently holding. But I wanted to go over this piece of news for you that's here in my stack. This is Reuters. Flu experts gear up for pandemic vaccine worry. Reuters. One million heart attacks, 700,000 strokes, 900,000 miscarriages. U.S. public health officials want Americans to know this will happen every single year with or without the swine flu vaccine. So they're telling the doctors if somebody gets sick or dies after they take this, it, the vaccine didn't kill you. Now, how obvious when there's been all these other problems in the past with vaccines. Yet this year, they know a significant number will be blamed on H1N1 vaccine, which will roll out within weeks, and they're struggling to be ready. They expect an avalanche of so-called adverse event reports, which are reports of death, illness, or other health trauma that occur within two weeks after receiving treatment, in this case, the flu vaccine. So there you go. Now listen to this. London Guardian today. Swine flu could kill millions unless rich nations give 900 million pounds or a billion and a half dollars. UN's shaking everybody down for money. And the UN is running the level six global pandemic. So the US and other countries are under UN control. The UN brags this is all a drill, at least at bare minimum, to train all the major nation states to go under UN control. UN reports this pandemic may result in 
anarchy unless Western world pays for antiviral drugs and vaccines. And then they show a guy dead on a gurney here uh, next to his wife to scare everybody. The swine flu pandemic could kill millions and cause anarchy in the world's poorest nations unless 900 million can be raised from rich countries to pay for vaccines and antiviral medicine, says a U.N. report leaked to the Observer. As if Bill and Melinda Gates and Warren Buffett giving 80-something billion dollars for vaccines. Of course, Bill Gates is on record on Bill Moyers saying he's for eugenics. And uh, his dad heads up Planned Parenthood. Oh, yeah, he always got some shots for you. The disclosure will provoke concerns that public health officials will not be able to stem the growth of the worldwide H1N1 pandemic in developing countries, even though this is starting off as a very weak flu and kills a low number of people compared to the regular flu. They don't care. They're fear-mongering. So I wanted to go over all of that and throughout the weekday show. We're going to be uh, covering this in detail. There's a great detailed report written by Mike Adams, the 10 lies told by the mainstream media about swine flu. Let's get Mike Adams on this week. We're also getting Lou Rockwell on, Dr. Blaylock again about this. And uh, Dr. Horowitz is coming on. We're going to come back and go over the 10 lies quickly, just the bullet points, not the detailed links and fact sheets under it. So you can go read the full article at Infowars.com. Then we're going to race through your eugenics calls in the final segment. Get angry, get upset, get focused. Don't believe me, go research these facts. I mean, is it good that Newsweek's calling for killing Grandma? You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Final segment on this Sunday transmission as we wage war on corruption and crash through the lies and disinformation. On the last official day of summer, September 20th. Lie number one, there are no adjuvants used in the vaccines, though they admit there's massive uh, mercury, which is an adjuvant, and squalene at record levels. Lie number two, the swine flu is more dangerous than seasonal flu. That's not true. We have all the hyperlinks to that. Lie number three, vaccines protect you from the swine flu. When they admit it's already mutated, and doesn't even protect you. Vaccines are safe. How can the journalists be saying this when there's a huge history of them killing people and maiming people? Lie number five, that the vaccine isn't mandatory. And they're certainly pushing it and implying it is in many workplaces and in schools with color of law. Number six, getting a vaccine shot is a good bet on your health. It goes on. Lie number seven, the vaccine isn't made with attenuated live virus. Yes, it is. Lie number eight, wash, wash, wash your hands to avoid exposure when almost all of it is inhaled through the nose into the mucous membrane. Lie number nine, children are more vulnerable to swine flu than adults. Lie number 10, there is nothing else you can do beyond a vaccine or Tamiflu when all the medical doctors we've had on have said vitamin D is the key several times a week at at least 30 minutes of direct sun on your body. That's what produces it in the body, the real type your body can absorb. Not to mention getting lots of sleep, lots of vitamin C. Every time I have medical doctors on, I say, what do you do? Get a lot of sleep, eat healthy, don't drink, don't smoke, and get a lot of sun. Okay, let's go to your phone calls, eugenics phone calls. We'll go through all, all the calls as well here. Uh, let's talk to uh, Jesse in Texas. Jesse, you are on the air. Hey, what's up? What's like on your mind? Well... I can sense your passion and I could tell why you're so upset. And, you know, I'm, you know, it's, you know, it's about time that these people get, you know, um, exposed for these things. And, you know, and, and, you know, I think if enough people rise up, they, you know, you know, that's what people don't want to hear about this stuff. You know, they do. Uh, busy, you know, doing other things, and you know, you know, something has to be done. I hear you, and I appreciate your call. And that's it. People think it's a virtue to not care, to be selfish. Meanwhile, all this tyranny just grows around us. We have to get involved. We have to get informed. Sinclair in uh, Pennsylvania, you're on the air. Hey, uh, how you doing? Good, sir. Go um, ahead. I'm getting married, and I want to put a marriage license. You have got to see the hoops they make you jump through as far as your medical history to get it all on record. I saw blood test. Do you know how marriage licenses began? 
They began when for blacks. They didn't want blacks to be able to marry blacks, much less whites. And so under the different laws, they created marriage licenses, and that was set up by eugenicists as well. The family courts that are outside due process and aren't legitimate, they were set up for eugenics. Well, I mean, they're basically cataloging, cataloging people into their you know, blood types and disease types and genetic history and things like that for marriage. Well, it's worse than that, sir, and I appreciate your call. You got a bad phone. At birth, if you're 36 years or younger and born in a major hospital anywhere in the Western world, a United Nations database was secretly set up. I had congressmen on more than 12 years about it, 12 years ago. Now it's mainstream news. Your blood is taken at birth and put into a DNA database.